Hello everybody, this is a frame rate fix for Fallout 4 on PC. If you're having a frame rate problem due to it being a weird locked frame rate, this has to do with when your computer just generates too much frames for the game, the engine doesn't know what to do, so it falls back to a third of the refresh rate of your monitor. I have 165 refresh rate of monitor, and it's so 55 is a third of that. So how do you fix that? It's easy. All you have to do is quit your game. You wanna to go to Documents, My Games, Fallout, go to Fallout 4 prefs.ini, and you just are gonna open that with a text document. From there, you're gonna look for I present interval. Look for that. It's gonna be defaulted to zero. This is what you call the V-Sync. When you turn this off, every frame is just gonna be outputted at. Then from there, you can read, make sure you save it and launch the game. Play. Press start. You can already notice that in the top, it's already frame rate is already getting 12,000 or 1200. Of course, this is literally just a video playing. So we'll go back into my game. And now we're back down more than 55, back to 100 uh, FPS. Though there is a problem with that if you if you like to run at the, the game at a really inconsistent frame rate and you will have a different experience depending on what you want, you'll notice that the game kind of runs at a certain tick. Now, how do you fix that? That is where this AMD video comes into place. Of course, and NVIDIA has the same thing. What you want to do is you want to limit your frame rate on the driver level. So let's quit this out of this again. Boot up uh, Adrenaline AMD drivers. Now you want to go to gaming and graphics and go down the go down to advance. From here, you can set the target frame rate. This will be global, but for a certain game, we can go to games, Fallout 4, scroll down, and we're gonna hit enable chill. To conserve power and reduce heat, Radeon chill reduces the frame rate when the, so this will be on a per game basis. So we'll hit that, hit that, set it to default to 60, 60. I just, minimum, maximum, I, it, I guess doesn't really matter. That's what I did. So we'll go back to that. And this is a per game base, hit play. And it, alt tab. And it continue. Now in the top right, you can see that it is rendering a lot of frame rate, but this is not the game. Power of SSDs. And now, game should be rendering at 60 FPS. And you can already see that my movement is significantly more stable and it's gonna pretty much be locked at 60 FPS. Uh, it will drop here and there, but should be fine for now. Um, but yeah, I hope that video was helpful. I put out this video because I was tired of looking for stuff and this is mainly just a reminder for me. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Bye.